Hello to my Aries. Aries, happy new moon in Taurus. Happy new moon in Taurus to all of my Aries. I'm talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart, including if Aries is your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. A lot of people have been asking how to spell it. The link is below to pull your birth chart as well as to pull your, to find out what your Chiron is. It's in the description. All right, let's get it into, let's get into it. Let's get into it. And Chiron will help us to find out where the deepest wounds started and start the pro the process of healing those deepest wounds. So once you find out what your Chiron is, like I said, link is in the description. Um, and you can uh, start the process of Googling like how to heal that part of yourself, those deepest, deepest wounds, those cracks and crevices, all of that. Rose-colored glasses have been removed from the last cycle. We're currently in a whole new cycle. Um, and so what does the new you look like? We're going to have a full moon in Sagittarius and it's going to be considered as a flower moon. So how are you blossoming, you know, in this cycle? Now the rose colored glasses are off. Do you feel like there's been some things that you've been holding on to that's been kind of stifling your growth? Have you pulled some stuff up, some weeds up from the roots and saying, okay, now it's time to plant some new seeds. It's growth time. It's on and popping, right? So let's get into it. Talking to you wherever... Wherever Aries is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Even if you're on the cusp of Pisces or on the cusp of Taurus, I'm talking to you. Even if you're Chiron, MC, or IC is uh, Aries, I am talking to you. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards, Aries. First card out of the deck is a lover's card. Very nice lover's card. All right. So what kind of messages do you send out to the universe about self-love? Okay. Because that's going to be what you attract, right? Here we have the lover's card. So this connects us with Gemini. This connects us with Virgo. Um, and here's the, the chariot card. Source is actually going to start rewarding you when you started when you when you are on the frequency of what you want to attract, right? So, um, the whole concept of uh, manifestation it it would kind of take too long to even describe it. But basically, source is saying to you, meet that energy that you're trying to manifest on that frequency, so that you can be the energy you desire to attract. So, at this stage in your life, you should have a pretty good idea of what you don't want in a romantic situation, a partnership in business and during love, right? You should have some pros and cons list somewhere of this, not just like, I don't want short, I don't want tall, I don't want fat, skinny, portly, you know, uh, I don't want, you know, gap in the teeth, teeth too, uh, teeth too, uh, close together, missing teeth mouth full of teeth whatever short hair long hair no hair it it, uh, it source wants you to get like not just a physical uh but also what does the spirit look like what is the energy you're trying to attract so for instance remember they didn't just fall off the back of a turnip truck whether you're going into business with them or romantically linked they have their idea of you know um what their definition of money and wealth and material possessions and practicality and home and health and generosity. So let's say, for instance, because source is saying you're pulling up all the weeds and you said, I'm starting from scratch. I need to find out. I need to look at this thing from the root. I need to look at my values when it comes to money, wealth, material possessions, practicality, home, health, generosity. Am I sending out the message that I'm a big bank? And I'm attracting people who are just coming to just withdraw from my bank. Am I, am I sending out that message to the universe, right? Or do I send out a message of balance? Like I can teach you how to invest in yourself so that you can go after everything you want and not just give, 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 right? What kind of message do I send out to the universe? Here we have the nine of pentacles. So I definitely feel financial independence is on your horizon. And I definitely see... Um, you have a lot of opportunities to meet new people in business and or in love coming across your path. I feel like being around energies that just want the paper, the coins, the such and such and such and such, you know, the material possessions, the those kind of things have taught somebody a lot of lessons about, okay, how do you value yourself? How do you, what, what, what type of energy do you attract, right? So I do see Source actually rewarding you for saying, okay, I'm not giving out too much information. <laughs> 
you're leaving behind some situations where it's like, okay, I now know better. I need to start planting some new seeds. I don't want to keep asking why. Why do I keep attracting these type of energies? Why do I keep attracting these types of energies in my family, my friendship groups, love interests, business partnerships where people just want me to just give and give and give and give and give and work like a workhorse and they are just on the receiving end of what I'm working so hard for. Why do I keep attracting these types of energies, right? So um, I definitely feel like uh, somebody is really kind of really scaling back on talking about your material possessions, money, you know, those kind of things so that uh, it's not assumed that you are the International Bank of Aries, okay? So I definitely feel like you're going to kind of scale back on that. And it's, it's not like you're showboating. It's just like you worked hard for what you got. But when people are asking you for stuff, you say, hey, somebody bold enough to ask you for something? you bold enough to ask them, hey, how are you managing your money? How are you managing your day? Who are you around? Like if they bold enough to ask you, you bold enough to ask the next question, right? So, yeah. So I definitely see your circle changing. Here we have the lover's card, the judgment card. The Justice card. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Healing card, and also the Page of Wands. So, yeah, Lover's card came out again. So, yeah, I definitely feel like you're going to be a lot more meticulous both in your partnerships in business and or in love. Business and or in love. And no more karmic relationships. Because Source is saying to you, you've gone through a total transformation Karmic relationships are just negative cycles. Like, I, I need to end this cycle of attracting certain types of energies. Like, I got to give off this energy that I love myself, whether, you know, whether you stop talking to me because I'm not giving you stuff. I need to stop giving that energy off. I need to stop giving that energy off like I can buy something, like I want to buy somebody. Like I, And so, here we have the wheel of the year. So, this is where... Um, you desire this harmony uh, within yourself. You desire resolution of conflict within yourself, you know, more so than anything. It's like, why do I keep attracting energies and I end up having to heal from the energies? Money is not going to solve the problem. I could tell you that right now. Just giving, giving, giving is not going to solve a deeper problem. When the soul is something that somebody really needs to, you know, get in order. So you asking why, 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 why you're asking the wrong. You're going to the physical to ask why when you should be asking source why. Why do I keep attracting these types of energy? I need to be the energy I desire to attract. How come I can't see, you know, who is just, you know, who is just, um, with me for what they can get from me so there could have been a gemini somehow involved somebody could either been married to it because it came out twice gemini that somebody was involved in um a libra could have been involved in some way shape form or fashion um or somebody could have been connected to a libra or maybe you felt indecisive about some things at some point and just like couldn't figure it out you know, but here we have the page of wands. So that's always a good idea to have that conversation up front. It's like, what are your ideas? You know, asking people, what are your, what's your definition of money, wealth, home, generosity? You know, basically, what is your love language? <laughs> you know, what is your love language, right? Do some people like, like people buying them stuff. Some people like, some people, they don't want you to buy them stuff. They just want you to love them the way you love, the way they love you. They got their own money, right? But again, if you're around a bunch of people who are just money hungry in your circle, or that's what your stories that you're hearing about, oh, they just a gold digger or whatever the case may be. You may make, be making the wrong assumption about just kind of sort of who they are when they just might have just wanted love. I mean, you know, whatever it is. But that's why I feel like somebody is saying, I'm pulling everything up at the root at this point. And I'm, when I'm going to business, business relationships and romantic relationships, I'm asking, I'm asking more questions. And I'm being in receiving mode. So this right here, you want to receive more wealth, you know, in terms of love and uh, money. And source is actually rewarding you for sitting down and just really... So I see victory right here. So judgment card came out again. The hangman. Here we have the page of swords, the three of cups, the ace of wands, you know. And and so here we have the six of wands. So source is saying you'll definitely be victorious when you ask those questions now that you're in the light about some things. Um, and hanging in there with yourselves. This is right here. Um, 
you know, not where you're not overwhelmed either. You know, emotionally, you don't feel like, okay, I'm deceiving myself to believe that somebody wants to work with me or be in a romantic relationship with me because they genuinely like me. I'm not going to deceive myself anymore. Right. Um, and so here's a judgment card again. So you're definitely healing from, you know, some things where, um, You've gone through a total transformation, both in your personal and your professional life. And you're also going to see maybe how you couldn't see before how money plays a role, how people respond to energy of money, right? So it makes you very, very attractive for people who need money, right? Who need money, who need a home, a place to stay, who need um, material possessions, who need health you know, who need generosity, who need wealth, you know, it makes it, you know, um, here we have the page of swords and also the three of cups, right? So you got some good news coming across your path and you're going to be grateful that the past is now behind you, you know, again, some things that you prayed for. Source is saying, now that you're in the light about some things, it's time for you to move beyond something. We're in a whole new cycle now. We're in a totally, totally new cycle. <laughs> So new cycle, new you. Rose colored glasses are off. Not everybody's a gold digger. Some people, you got to find out what their goal is. G-O-A-L. Because not everybody's a G-O-L-D digger. Some people have their own high paying jobs. Some people have their own careers, their own whatever. But if their love language is that, okay, I just want to spend time with you. Um, Y'all know how it goes. You know, like you hear, sometimes you hear kids say, I just wish my parents were around more, you know, you know, and they just thought giving them things was going to replace love. Okay. Did not buy you a car. Did not pay for your college education. Did not do this and did not do that. And their love language was that they just wanted more time. So it's the same thing in the adult life, you know, too. Source is just saying, you know, if you just, if you start out that way in your relationships, just giving, 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 giving. And then when do you have a time to be in receiving mode of what you want, your love language, right? So I definitely feel like you're um, inspiring people to kind of sort of do for themselves when it comes to, you know, the energy of money, right? Here we have the page of swords. So two types of situations in particular, the anxiety about something that's coming to an end. Here we have the seven of swords. Um, I do see somebody learning how to create some kind of a, um, a strategy, you know, around whatever it is that you prayed for now that you're in the light about some things for somebody, it's not going to be that deep. You know, remember, take everything case by case basis. If you find out that, Hey, listen, you have adult kids that could be influenced by the other side of the family and the other side of the family is all about material possessions, what zip code people live in, what kind of cars they drive and so on and so forth and your kids inherited that same energy, for them, that may be their love language. Just show me the money, you know. That may not for you. You may be like, okay, that's how they love, you know, for them. They got, they want the house, the cars, the whatever, whatever, whatever. Now y'all can go work to go get it. You know, you're not the International Bank of Aries. But if you're in a romantic relationship with an energy and you don't do the upfront work and start asking questions about, you know, how people make their money and what their financial situation is. Like if they y'all having that money conversation down to the credit score. And I know credit scoring system is different and different, you know, around the world, but sources that ask wherever you are, ask them what their credit score is. Like, you know, y'all having a conversation, <laughs> y'all, you talking about money, what's your credit score, right? Those kind of things. Right. So I definitely feel like conversations around money, which seems to be very, which seems to be very uncomfortable for some people. I feel like somebody's going to start asking more questions and you're going to feel, like I said, feel very fortunate, you know, to get some questions answered up front. You know, get some questions answered up front. If they're out here making a whole bunch of bills and they don't care about their credit score, you know, you may be a big ticket for them for real. They may, if, 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 if you know, whatever the situation is, money is not just, like I said, Money is not just paper and coins. If they see you as the key to another, you know, what, what they need. So it's saying, pay attention up front. Here we have three of swords. So you've been hurt a lot. You've been hurt a lot. And I feel like somebody may have been desensitized to their own pain. 
even down to this is what I also feel like since we're talking about uh, love relationships, even if and I really want you all to pay attention for those of you all who are single, who desire to be, you know, whether you like the traditional marriage or like a spiritual marriage or whatever the situation is. Some of you all are going to start seeing that you have been the key into other people having a better relationship with their family. It wasn't even about, it wasn't even about, um, I really love Aries. I really want to be with Aries. It's what Aries can do for me. Sometimes you'll even hear it like when people are being interviewed, I love this person for what they can do for me. Some people are so bold with it. They don't even, they ain't even trying to hide it. I love what this person could do for me. Not I love this person or I love doing for this person. I love what this person can do for me. Like start paying attention to that. If you just meet somebody, because I'm saying your wishes are being fulfilled. If you if you just meet somebody and you ask them, you know, about their family relationships and they like, you know, it's really strained, it's this and that. And, you know, every time I bring somebody around, so on and so forth, like, and here you come in as the superstar, you financially independent, your money is growing, your business is doing good and all of this other stuff. They may see you as the key into a better relationship in their family. You can either let your ego get involved and say, you know, you know, family over everything. You know, I, you know, I was the one to help get their family back on track. Or you can let them work on themselves <laughs> and start the process. You know what I'm saying, uh, Aries. But here we have the King of Swords here. But um, a lot of rose colored glasses have been removed about, you know, just like people's love language and I say that because you got so much air out here right and so something wasn't making logical sense to somebody you know it wasn't you know it wasn't a, it was not the truth it was your truth versus somebody else's truth or other people's truth it wasn't the truth the truth of the matter is that source is saying it's time to pull the weeds up from the root and recognize what's going on here that's what it is right so and that's what I see you doing. So congratulations to you for that um, as you move forward. And like I said, Source is actually rewarding you for just recognizing that. Stop asking why. <laughs> Sometimes it's inherited from the other side of the family, for real. A lot of times people want to be like, that's not my child. I don't, we came out, you know, that's not my sibling. I don't know why my sister or brother act like that. It could have been inherited from a great-grandparent. <laughs> So sources say it's better now as an adult to have those conversations and find out what your love language is and what their love language is. So you can save yourself a whole bunch of heartache and stress. Some people will stop talking to you because you won't loan them $5. Okay, good. You just cut yourself out of my life. Some people will stop talking to you because they don't have a place to stay. Some people will, you know, some people will stop talking to you if... You're like, okay, I'm a, you know, you know, get back to me when you and your family get that situation, st you know, settled or whatever. Yeah, I don't want to be involved in family situation. I just met you, whatever. They go on to somebody else that they can use to get as a key in their family. So, key to their family relationship. So, sources saying you're learning how, you know, to not invest so much time because the more time that you invest in something, first of all, you're leaving something behind. You're saying, okay, past is the past. Some energies have cut themselves out of my life. My head and heart used to be at war with each other. It's not at war with each other anymore. I, I got that part. We're talking about the circulation of wealth. So you're not even looking at it as like a loss. It's like, okay, they won't have access to whatever it is you acquire now, where you are right now. So you are being more conservative with your time and moving forward with that. And so here we have, and they're watching. They're watching every little thing that you do. It could be a Leo involved, or they could have Leo somewhere in their birth chart watching every little thing. Um, they're pretty confident. Remember, Pluto is retrograde, so Pluto is not only the planet of death, rebirth, it's also the planet of transformation, power, metamorphosis. It's a regenerative planet. It's also the planet of obsessions. So somebody is definitely obsessed with you know, investing their time in your money growing. They want to see how your money grows. They want to see how you are financially independent. You shouldn't even spend that much time thinking about it for real because it's a no. That's what. That's why you got the nine of pentacles here. First, you were asking why, like, what's up with this? What's, what's going on? What's going on? Because you've decided, okay, I get it. 
they are inspired and motivated by how much money can come into the situation. This could be somebody's sister, brother. You could have dated them, thought about dating them, whatever. They were obsessed with your financial independence, how you making money. I need y'all to start going back and part, start paying attention to some conversations you have with some people. Where your money coming from? They were somebody was obsessed with that. Then here we had the four of pentacles. You're choosing to land on the light side of the number nine, like you chose to, lose, chose to land on the light side of the number seven. Seven is the number for completion. So source made it make sense, right? You had a tower moment. Oh, okay. Now I see what it is. Our love language is not the same, right? Remember, Pluto is retrograde. So you're going to see a lot of people are obsessed with something, right? You could have been obsessed with proving to people that you really like them, that you really love them. You are motivating people, inspiring people. And they're watching everything. So now they know, okay, Aries is financially independent. Aries don't really need me like that, whoever it is, right? I wonder how they become financially independent, right? Because for them, it's all about money. Somebody better wake, better open their eyes, take the, remove the, the, the whatever from your eyes. And then the number four, source is saying to you, they're on the dark side of the number four. So they're like, you know what? It's my way or the highway. I'm obsessed with getting them back. Because they're financially independent. So I know they don't need me for money. But I need them for money. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. Right? So as you are praying for something. As you're praying and asking source. You know for some things. You can't be indecisive about a karmic relationship. It would absolutely throw you right into a, a, a negative relationship. A, a negative cycle. You can't buy... Okay, like I said, it's a Leo somewhere involved in something. They could have it somewhere in their birth chart. But somebody is obsessed with you. They're obsessed with, and I'm talking to you wherever Aries is in your birth chart. So let's say, for instance, your Chiron is Aries and you were bullied or, you know, easily so distracted and confused by stuff, whatever the case may be. And, and their goal is money. They'll come through somebody that you love. They will manipulate and bully somebody that you love and your head and heart are at war about somebody that you love and they being bullied by somebody that's trying to get your money. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. So source is saying, hang in there with yourself. You're getting it. You're learning how to slow down and you're learning these money matters of what's going on. So yeah. Here we have the ace of um here we have the ace of wands here. So your third eye is now wide open. Yeah, um, your, your third eye is wide open. It is wide, wide open. And um, yeah, some energies, they just, they watch every little thing that you do. Here we have the fold card. So it's time for you to leave the circus. This is connected to the planet Uranus. Uranus is the planet of upheaval, um, rebellion, liberation, unpredictability, their energy is unpredictable. Like, so source is saying to you, you know, it causes them some kind of upheaval. If they can't be connected to your generosity or connected to your money or your home life or how you're making your money or how much money you have somehow, you know, if they, if it's causing them some kind of, they having a tower moment. In other words, the tower moment is about upheaval, right? So they having some kind of a tower moment. And so here we have the will, the will, um, a fortune right so you're going to feel this connects us to jupiter which you're already ahead of it because ahead of this full moon even though technically today if you watch this video on the seventh is the beginning of the new moon we're already in the new moon phase three days prior to the seventh we already started the new moon phase on the fourth right but things are becoming clearer and clearer to you before. So if you have a loved one that's being bullied by somebody who is obsessed with getting to your money, that loved one where your head and heart used to be at war with each other, you're going to tell them, okay, I need you to talk to me and tell me what the heck is going on. You're going to have to flat out come out and ask them, are you still talking to so-and-so? Okay. I see what this is because somebody, I feel like, I feel like, um, you're the target. I feel like you're the target. Yep, I feel like you are the target. So wake up. 
Here we have the um, Six of Pentacles. And if you're still looking for their acceptance and their approval, you're going to give them exactly what they want. And the person who, the energies that are stalking you would have gotten what they wanted. So you're going to have to tell whoever your head and heart are at war with is like, mm -mm, I need to know how you're spending your money. Because first of all, the answer is no, because your money is growing. People know that you're financially independent. So you're not out here financially struggling. So if they feel like you are the International Bank of Aries and people feel like they need to get to you, however they're going to get to you, they're going to get through. They're going to get through to anybody they need to get through to get to you. The answer needs to be no. Your head and heart don't need to be at war with each other because somebody is absolutely watching you. And your third eye is open. Here we have the King of Swords. There it is. You sit right on your throne of thinking. There it is. About both energies. Whoever the energies are, whether the energy is naive and they don't know what's happening or they either know what's happening. But in either case, the answer is no and no. <laughs> no and no. Here we have the, um, the four of cups here. So there, there's a lot of temptation there. Once you see something, I feel like... Where's the cards? I feel like you're moving with some kind of strategy, though, because I feel like, you know... If you really thought about like how I, I feel like, you know, the old you, like we were in the old cycle. Now that the rose colored glasses are off, that blowtorch may come out. The new you though, Aries, the blowtorch is not going to come out. You're going to say it cool, calm and collected. No. I'm sorry you're going through financial issues and problems, but the answer is no. You're going to have to find some other way to get it. Because I feel like, and I saw this very similar in somebody, another Zodiac signs reading. You don't really need anybody financially for anything. Looking at the cards, I mean, some of y'all, we remember we're talking to, we're talking to, I'm talking to the camera, right? But this is what the message that source has given to me. You are on your throne. You pray to get on your throne of just complete and total clarity around the energy of money and, and people's love language, Right. So I feel like you're already there. Plus you're on your throne of your logic, your intellect, your truth about certain things and blah, 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 and all that. And sources say, I'm actually rewarding you for taking the high road. But the rewards is even greater. That's how you're going to start seeing, okay, you got love coming across your path. You're financially independent. they financially independent. Their money is growing. Your money is growing. They are prayer warrior. You're a prayer warrior. You know what I'm saying? In business and or in love. But you're handling what's going on now, which is like, okay, the old you, no more withdrawals. Because you're not paying people to talk to you. You're not paying people to love you. You're not paying people for their time. None of those things. You got your own stuff going on, right? So this is the new you. This is how you've blossomed, right? And so remember, a lot of people don't go by the, the moon calendars. They don't care about the moon phases and all that stuff. So if anybody feels like your head and heart are at war with each other as it relates to certain people, even if they can't stand you, Aries, they'll go through somebody they feel like you love. And that's what I'm saying here in the cards, to get what they need to get from you. To get what they need to get from you. Strategy. As disappointed as you may be that some people just can't figure it out for themselves, you may be looking at them like, you don't see this, but don't even get mad at them because, again, as much as you love them, they're on a different frequency. So you don't even don't even get mad. Don't cuss them out, going off, bringing out the blowtorch. What's wrong with you? How come you don't see so-and-so? Source is saying, you don't really know whether they see it or not. So you got to move with strategy. Why are you mad when somebody's coming to you for money? Why are you mad? Well, you can say no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the upper hand. Why are you upset when people are coming to you asking you for something when you could just say no? And if that's the if if that's what they want from you, and that's gonna stop somebody from talking to you, okay. Then I get to keep my money. I haven't lost anything. You just expose yourself, whatever, right? But you're not going back to that person you used to be. Is my whole point. Because right now, people, like I said, are watching you. You know, they trying to see, okay, they financially independent. They don't seem like they really tripping off money matters. Those kind of things, which makes you very attractive. Because guess what? Nobody wants to get into a relationship with somebody. And you find out that they have so much debt and credit scores are, and down the toilet. And you got to pay for everything. And their interest rates are sky high. And all of this other stuff. And they're just, they're irresponsible when it comes to the energy of money. 
So, yeah, source is saying somebody's waking up and starting to see. Everybody out here is not a gold digger. You just got to learn love languages. Everybody's not a gold digger. I mean, some people are, and it's not gender specific, so we're clear. But some people's love languages is different. Some people will do anything for you if if you if if the quality of the relationship they feel like okay you give them quality time they like hey you can work as much as you want to just give me some quality time I'm good let's just talk about their love language is not even about because they bringing their own check in they bringing their own money to the table but but I feel like you're trying to teach I feel like somebody's trying to teach somebody how to spot energies that have an ulterior mode G O L D to, like trying to help somebody spot gold digging energies you you um don't give yourself a headache about it because more money is coming across your path like i said you're not the one asking them for money they don't the want asking you for money so hey take your time and to decide make room for a new blessing close out the cycle in love let go and let god ask source for clarity you have a whole new attitude somebody's not happy without you so dream even bigger because all it takes is one yes from god that's all you need one yes from god that's it Somebody is going to be dating differently. Somebody's going to be going into business situations very differently because it's love language conversation we have in here. You don't even have to be mad. You're the one that's holding the bag. Mad at what? Why are you mad? Are you mad because somebody don't see that other people are trying to take advantage of them? Like, I'm trying to keep trying to tell everybody it's never just about money. And people think it's just always, you know, oh, they this person a gold digger. That's a gold. That's all they want is money, 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 money. Not all the time. Not all the time. So source is saying, I feel like you're teaching people around you. You could have younger, you know, uh, young adults, you know, around you that you're teaching, whether they're your grandkids or younger siblings or adult kids or whatever. I feel like somebody is teaching people is like, yeah, hey. um, you telling your your kid your friends and stuff, hey, I, you know we live in this big house, but you paid for it, so it's like no, you got to get your own big house. You you flexing and flossing on the stuff that I worked hard for. You got to get your own house, right? Because you you're setting yourself up for people to take advantage of you for being you know for what you had, what they think you have, right? So here we have the number twenty seven. I am expressive. Your mind is wide open, and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all the ways of life you value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people whether in your community country or world at large some of you all are going to remember even with your own siblings a lot of you all are the first to do it a lot in your families a lot of you all are the first to write a book first to buy a house first to buy a car first to get married you are the first sign in, in tropical and sidereal sidereal astrology a lot of you all are the first in your families and you all dealt with the stuff in your own family people just wanting to be connected to you but then showing you that they're jealous and resentful and all of those things so sources like you're just passing down that wealth of knowledge to now that you're on the other side of something you are passing down that wealth and knowledge to your loved ones what they choose to do with it is, is up to them What you choose to do with it is up to them. Some of them go run outside, show all their friends, all the stuff they have. Oh, I got this new toy. I got this new such and such. Some of y'all are going to remember. I'm serious. I can see it so clear as I'm doing this reading. Some of y'all are going to remember how um, you may have given people stuff and they never, somehow you never heard about it again. Maybe they got it taken away. Some Something you never heard about it again from like you may have given them something like and they just like squandered it whatever it is you gave some people they just squandered it because they're trying to buy people and so it's like but you're not trying to buy them you're not if, if it's if you got a body of love then you would rather say you know what i love you enough to go ahead and cut you off and if that means you cut me off then hey i guess that's where we are that's what i feel like looking at your cards here yeah because you're going through some major life changes here major 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 life changes and somebody may have had to learn the hard way by people cutting you off. 
you know, and situations where your your heart was cracked and broken, you know, into itty bitty pieces. And then somebody said somebody sat down and started saying, Okay, I need to think about this. Time is money. And I got to decide who and what I invest my time slash money into. Then it started taking you down a rabbit hole of some stuff, right? And just, you know, you go through the, because we got seven of cups here. Usually that's a kundalini experience. Um, you know, oh, there's a snake and this and that. But remember this one, it symbolizes a good snake and, a, and an evil snake, right? The good snake is will be like, okay, I'm aware now. I'm aware that their love language is different than mine. Let me just move on out of their way. The bad snake would be like the venomous, like the, I had to be, I had to experience their poison in order for me to wake up. It had to get that bad for me to, for me to be like, my money had to be affected. My ideas had to be, I had to get raging mad for me to wake up. So somebody is just processing. So take this time on this new moon, you know, phase to just like pay attention to go down memory lane. Here we have prosperity. I am determined to win. And it's not win against anybody. It's win against that, that person and yourself, right? I am diligent. I am defeating the odds. I am warrior strong. I summon my highest self to take control today. I invest my time wisely. I am persistent. And so when we talk about warrior strong, we're talking about you are determined to win that internal warfare within yourself because otherwise you're turning that rage and anger on other people i gotta get them back there snake they got away with this they got away with that and i need that instant gratification sources saying to you that tower could also fall on you the whole purpose in this right here when you're at a fork in a row which direction do you go in you go high some people will choose low based on who broke their heart, who disappointed them, and also the energies that you're around, who's keeping you upset and frustrated. Oh, they took advantage of you. They did this and that and so on and so forth. So it's like you got bigger fish to fry. You got purpose. Money is, is we're talking about the circulation of wealth and sources trying to grow your money, not take it away from you, trying to grow your money, but then also your relationship with the energy of money. So more is coming, more opportunities are coming across your path. So Source wants you to make sure you don't go, when you're talking about like your prosperity, somebody's learning lessons about, you got more financial literacy here about people's, you know, like I said before, uh, two types of energies that you may have felt like they were holding on to secrets, that they were low vibrational or Something you were saying about them, like they're deceitful, they get away with stuff. Something you were saying about the energy sources, like get your attention off of them and turn to financial literacy. What are people's love languages in business and or in love? So that's what I'm saying for you all. That's what I'm saying for you all. Um, here are the questions for the moon and Taurus for those of you all who like the questions. First question is, how often do you feel true pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? Fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need, right? Taurus is ruled by Venus. It's like Libra. What's Libra's card? Libra. This is Libra's card. Is ruled by Venus as well. You went through a because of some painful experiences of feeling judged by two types of energies. You went through a very powerful transformation, and so you have an opportunity to be on the rebirth side because if you're still grieving and mourning what you left behind, you're only you're only stunning your own growth your own metamorphosis and so this is this full moon that we're going to have is a flower moon um it's going to be in sagittarius and also sagittarius's card here sagittarius is ruled by jupiter this card right here the wheel of fortune you're going to feel so fortunate well one you depending on where you are on your journey you're gonna feel so fortunate that your eyes are now open it's like okay that'll never happen to me again it may have happened in the past but it'll never happen to me again that's how I was, um, that's how I was cutting into my own money, head and heart at war with each other. Every time I got some money, here come the phone ringing. They want this, they want that. But I didn't, I didn't stop to ask who they're connected to as to why they don't ever have any money with all of these opportunities going on out here, right? Who is, who, 
are they, what are they saying to people? What are, what are, you know, what's going on, right? So that was the, you know, somebody didn't ask enough questions. So you got, you. so that's it. That's it. Now you're going to start asking more questions of everybody who wants something from you. Everybody. I'm talking about critical thinking questions. That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Hopefully those questions have helped you. Bye.